Hey, Paul Akers, over the years, I've collected a whole bunch of Japanese words and terms, most of them related to lean manufacturing, but not all of them. A lot of people get all bent out of shape when you learn the Japanese words. They think, oh, you don't need to do that. Well, for me, I say Boulder Dash. I think these Japanese words are really rich in meaning. And I think when you learn them, it makes you more culturally aware of really where a lot of these concepts came from. So enjoy this quick presentation. Every word has a quick video of me doing the pronunciation and my interpretation of what that word means. Kaizen, to improve or make good. The Japanese often think of this as a daily process to daily Kaizen. Process Kaizen, that means to improve a specific process. Machinery Kaizen, to deploy technology or to purchase a piece of machinery to improve a process. Just in time, developed by Taichiono for the purpose of delivering to the customer just what they wanted, when they wanted it, and in the quantity they wanted it. And in doing so, you lower the inventory throughout the entire value stream. SMED, Single Minute Exchange of Dye, developed by Shigeo Shingo as an integral part of achieving the just-in-time system by being able to change out a machine in under 10 minutes, single digit, they were able to accomplish the just-in-time model because they did not have to build huge batches of items. Heijunka means leveling. We have a Heijunka room in a lot of manufacturing plants, which is a place where all the Kanbans are gathered so they can sort them and organize the work so we have evenness in the way production is performed. Kanban, developed by Taichiono for the purpose of achieving the just-in-time model. Kanban simply means a signal it indicates that you need to reproduce another item. Manozakuri, one of my favorite words. It means pride of craftsmanship. It means when you make something, you should feel good about it. You should take ownership of it. It's a very important thing to have the skill to produce something. Manozakuri. Jidoka, automation with the human touch. The main idea here is that the machine stops when it produces a defect, that it has a degree of intelligence. The main purpose is to not create defects, to stop the line so we can come and solve the problem at the scene of the crime. Muda, it means waste. Anything that does not add value to the process is muda. Mura, variation or unevenness. The best way to remember this is think of painting with a brush. As you bring the brush across the wall, the paint is reduced and the stroke looks differently. There's a variation. Muri. This means burden or pressure. Motainai, my all time favorite Japanese word. It means to have a deep sense of regret, to waste something. Yoka ten. This means to share information laterally across an organization. 
One of the reasons why I like YouTube so much is it allows me to yoke attend information across the world. Katakuri. This means automation without power. Pokayoke. This means to mistake proof. To create a process where the operator can't make a mistake, guaranteeing quality in the process. Gyojin Sagyo. It means standard work. Hoshin Kanri. This means to have a plan, particularly planning for the future. Kata. This means to have a routine. I like to think of it as a daily routine. Oftentimes, if you think of it in terms of a choreographed routine, something that's planned and done over and over again. On Don. This means a board that signals that there's a problem so everyone can come running to the scene of the crime to solve the problem so we don't pass defects to the next operator. Talk time. This is the beat of the customer, the demand of the customer, that we produce products at the rate that the customer is demanding it. Gemba, the place where the work is done, the shop floor. If you talk to a Japanese reporter and they're reporting from the scene of a crime, they'll say they're at the Gemba. The Gemba is where the action is happening, the scene of the crime. Dojo is a place specifically set up to practice and learn. Dojo, think of karate. Judo. We think of these places where you go to practice. Hansei. To look back and reflect on what mistakes you've made in life or in general so you can improve. To admit your mistakes. Hansei. Fudio, which means defects. This is the bane of all of our existence, and the Japanese pursue the elimination of Fudo like maniacs. Hin Sitsu no Sekiri Komi, which means to build quality into the process. Motenashi. This again is one of my all-time favorite Japanese words. It means to have a real sense of the customer. Hospitality. You really feel that when you're in Japan. 